Hello, hello YouTube. I'm going to talk about Krita 2.9 and how to get it working on Linux Mint 17.1 Rebecca, which is based on Ubuntu 14.04. And uh, first of all, w what we have to do is uh, get rid of Krita 2.8 from Ubuntu or whatever it was installed before. And that's not trivial. You have you have to uninstall it. We are whatever be necessary probably it will be synaptic packager manager and uh, that's fairly easy you go krita and there's the version you have to uninstall krita krita data and mark for complete removal which should delete all which should delete all f configuration file but it probably don't doesn't do that so, uh, yeah, uh, uninstall the Krita 2.8 and uh, wait for a while. And after our, it's uninstalled, then you have to delete an additional configuration file, which uh, which I will show where they were. So the Krita configuration file is under home directory slash your username slash dot kde slash share slash apps for those who don't know how to display a hidden, fo hidden folders it's control h navigate to navigate to the krita krita f f kde share apps f config folder and delete it whole uh, you ha have to. You probably have to do it because uh, the new version of Krita will look under the folder and try to load a previous configuration, which will pr will most probably will break your Krita 2.9. Uh, it did mine. I couldn't move a, a window. I couldn't resize it. I couldn't change the layout. I couldn't do mostly anything because the application was unusable so the second file i deleted was under dot config kde which had one file which is probably unrelated to krita i deleted anyway and also oxygen gt key which is probably also not used but i i yeah probably wasn't but i deleted anyway uh, I deleted the Oxygen GD key because you have to install an Oxygen icon theme to get uh, Krita to display uh, display any icons in the menu and around the whole application. In Krita 2.8, it wasn't listed as dependency. It wasn't listed as dependency, which uh, was kind of sad because lots of users were complaining they couldn't see any icons on startup, and that was because any uh, the Krita wants to load our oxygen icon theme. So install, yeah, hit install, mark, apply, and install oxygen icon theme to get Krita to display icons correctly. So. After you've done that, uh, you, we can now move to add a source repository, which I will include a link in the description below. And here there's a link which you will follow. You will select a trusty as your base, your uh, version of Ubuntu, which Linux Mint is based on. You copy the link, or you copy the text, and add it to your repository, which is easy. You hit additional repository, add it in your repository, you paste it, click OK, which will add your repository. I already added, so so I delete mine because I already have it in here which is it's completely 
uh, whatever, if you have it in PPAs or additional repositories, it doesn't matter. Then you have to also add an authentication key, which is this eight character long string. And you add it by simply download a key and you write your key here, which is easy. You hit OK. I already had mine, so you can you have to close the uh, sources afterwards. You reload your synaptic manager and after you reloaded manager you have to install Krita Krita 2.9 which is a different package than Krita 2.8 fairly easy well my computer is slow so bear with me <laughs> Jesus Christ I, I, have, I have a lot of repositories so it takes a while to reload a cage. Sorry for the long wait. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm very far away from my app. Oh, come on. I hit cancel, whatever. Yeah, you had Krita, and you inst you want to install Krita two point nine. So you hit mark, install, apply, and you got you good to go. Note if you already had the Oxygen account theme, you don't have to you don't have to reinstall it. You simply skip that part, and that's probably it. If you have any question, post it in the YouTube section, comment section, and that's it. As you can see, Krita will be installed, and if you deleted all the folders as I told you to, then Krita will start to work as it should. Uh, if you if you if you find anything broken, you should report it to the to the Krita development team and describe your problem via the help report wizard. Uh, for example only thing I notice is when my application is in full screen mode and I'll quit the application and restart it again and the full screen mode is unclicked unticked so I have to hit it twice to get off my full screen so it's minor annoyance uh, I didn't actually try any brushes or anything to with the Krita 2.9 I really didn't so there would be probably something broken but it shouldn't be that bad it's the latest version as in windows which is also the stable branch release or maybe this one is newer because the windows package is uh, is hard to do or maybe i don't know i have no information about that so as you can see krita 2.9 Oh shit, works on Linux Mint 17.1. Oh, thank you for watching, and if I missed something, give me a heads up, and I will redo this. <laughs> Probably, bye. Good night.